We're here at JCK Tucson with Steve Safa, who is a master watchmaker and designer. And I'd like to ask you, where do you get your inspiration and your ideas for your designs? Well, fantastic question. Actually, John, um, I used to design for the Fortune 100 companies for their branding and their corporate identity. And I fell in love with timepieces back in the late 80s, basically. I'm not that old, but I fell in love with it there. And I started um, putting up together all their corporate brand for their corporate incentives. And for my, um, all my inspiration comes really from all my art. I've been an artist since age six years old. My mother's a concert pianist. My dad was an oil painter. So we were kind of a little family of uh, little artists and, and everybody kind of encouraged every one another to do their own thing. And I fell in love with the biker industry. I had my first Harley Davidson in 1980 um, and I kind of grew with that and I said to myself, you know what? All these great designers in the biker industry, they are designers, but I don't see one of them wearing anything that I can produce for them. So what inspired me was creating a line for lifestyle men and women that, that ride. And that was my full inspiration. And then it kind of really transpired into um, a lifestyle of the poker world. You know, I did all the braces for the World Series of Poker in 2010. And the timepieces, the Suicide King was a timepiece for the World Series of Poker in 2010. And then it branched off more into the exotic car industry and the muscle car industry. So now, Individuals are really my inspiration. People come up to me and they say, you know, I have this kind of car, this kind of motorcycle, and I start building and designing pieces around their lifestyle. Who are some of the collectors that you sell these pieces to? Like, who is your clientele? I mean, I see designs that go for artistic. I see guys that are heavy riders. Uh, you know, a lot of the guys we know as Sturgis uh, that we see, I mean, you know, who is your end user, your clientele, and are they repeat clients? Well, you mentioned Sturgis, which is great, because I have such a wide range of collector base, and they all come see me at Sturgis, actually. Uh, I'm located down in Deadwood at Scott Jacobs Gallery, who's an artist there who commissions me to create his artwork in timepieces. But I meet people from all over the world, men and women that are nurses and doctors and CPAs, uh, lawyers, agriculture people, all walks of life but what I'm finding now is what they really want is their own brand so I have so many I have over a hundred different styles and designs and when they come to me and they look and they they see all the different designs they say this is what attracts me this is what I'm passionate about and so I'm really meeting people from all the shows that I do I'm not open to the public okay um, but all those different shows that I do and um, and the people that I meet and they are repeat because I keep designing for them. So as an example, once they buy a timepiece from me, and let's just say it's a one of my Lost Skulls timepiece, or the King, I create a ring that matches, or the pendant that matches, their lifestyle. So now they're, they're all fitted with something that really makes sense, and it's artwork. Well, you know that I have been a follower of your work for some time, and also I have one of your pieces over here and also one of your Mad Max rings. Uh, could you tell the audience a little about the, the watch and the ring? Well, this is a fantastic timepiece you picked because Mechanical Madness actually won JCK in 2008, the Diamond Collection. Uh, it is a, a mechanical movement. Uh, exhibition back, sapphire crystal, and all handmade. And I actually cut out the jaw line so you can see the movement working in the skull's jaw. Now, Monstrous Max, which is a fantastic ring you have, I hand select every baguette for the grill of his teeth. And then on each side, there's, um, you'll see on each side here, there's a miniature skull. Here, let's, let's turn that right here, and you'll see a little miniature skull right here. And on the other side, let's get that, you'll see his brain. That's Monstrous Max. And if I take this off here, don't let me hurt you, those, you'll see inside little skulls and the brain all done in rubies and solid gold. And that's some of my key marks as, a, as an artist. So when you see, when I put um, different things that are symbolic for the collector, that's what they gravitate to. And that's part of my art. So if, when you see this inside pieces, then you know it's Steve Safa artwork. Oh, very good. This is the first time I've ever had a man put a ring on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, could you 
explain, you know, you're an American designer, you're an American watch company, uh, you're going for a certain type of clientele, and the clientele is basically other fellow Americans who want to take pride in having something that is very unique. Could you elaborate on that? Well, yeah, and I think that's very, um, very special of you to add into this. Being an American designer and having the American flair, I understand also the American lifestyle because I'm part of it. You know, whether I, you know, am in my car or whether I'm on my motorcycle riding, I understand that lifestyle. And I think it's really, really important that people start really recognizing really the American made artists out here because just like art on your wall, it's no difference in having a timepiece that is artistry in time or an art piece on your finger or your bracelet. There's no difference. And I really think that more people are gravitating more things to support the USA market or the artist or the designer that was, like me, kind of made in America. And where can people find you if they want to, you know, invest in your creations? Because your, your timepieces are investment pieces in my uh, frame of mind. I mean, these are pieces that you would pass on to generation, multi-generational. Yes, and, and a lot of these I create as heirlooms as well. Most people find me either at shows at like Sturgis or the bike rounds or hot rod, exotic shows, luxury shows. Um, I'm one of the sponsors of the Cannonball Run. Um, you can find me uh, at stevesafa.com. That's where you can find all my different creations all the time. And um, I'm not open to the public. So I do private showings as well. So you come on into Las Vegas and I give you a private showing of all my work. That is excellent. Thank you very, very much. I'm sure that the prestige audience is going to enjoy that. From JCK Tucson, good day.